Um, so it's really exciting. We're going to start off uh, with a little bit of art, uh, this present uh, our award ceremony. And we have with us, we're very excited, uh, a young woman who's a senior at the Harvard Westlake School. Uh, she is also the poet laureate, the youth poet laureate for uh, the county of Los Angeles. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Sophie Kim. Sophie. Can everyone like hear me? Yes. All right, nice. Uh, so yeah, I'm Sophie Kim. Um, I'm super excited to be here. Um, I'm actually here because Gustavo, I don't know if he's in this room. Yes, no, okay, um, invited me um, because I do a lot of poetry um, and also a lot of social justice. Um, and I'm just like, I just feel super lucky. I've met like so many of you guys um, who are doing incredible work. Um, and I just feel like um, social justice, fighting for our communities, um, like especially now, is just like so important um, for us, um, so we can like be ourselves. Um, so I'm just gonna do a short poem that I wrote, um, and then we're gonna give these amazing awards to these amazing people. So yeah. I see a woman she is made of marble and steel. Her eyes are bound shut and she holds two cups balanced by equal pain. Her world is black and white, crisp and clear and crowned by a piece that wavers like the golden bowls in her hands. Her back is bent, her shoulders shake, but she will not break. Today her name is more mockery than mercy, more forgery than forgiveness. From far away her white blindfold glows like the flag of surrender. Justice is forgetting how to see, or maybe she was never taught how. But justice is taking a new name. My justice, called revolution, is coming. This justice does not stand on a marble roof, timid against the dawn sky. My revolution is a furious animal that writhes in the streets of Los Angeles, New York, Washington, D.C. Power from mouths of students who seize the scales with both hands, every hand and every breath pressed against every border. My revolution is stirring in its sleep, wakes every morning, and looks at the horizon and wonders what will be my battle today. Infectious and joyful as a rash of birds springing into the sun, my revolution is children riding on their parents' shoulders at protest marches, a community table where everyone belongs, being called by the right name. My revolution is bright in the eyes of everyone I see and everyone I don't. Everyone behind the scenes, desks, computer screens, mapping out our collective triumph. My revolution can be quiet, too. My revolution is a cup of tea and a question, are you okay? A comedy and popcorn and not a single glance at the evening news. The music playing through earbuds and speakers, that is more comfort than battle cry, lying on the floor, breathing in and out, blinking in a world that is still rigged to balance one side over the other, knowing that this is enough. The voice at the end of a hotline at 2 a.m., a journal that makes a promise to 
to itself, I will see a better tomorrow. And when I am beginning to doubt my revolution is making any difference at all, my revolution called justice whispers in my ear, don't give up. If you do, they win. All the cruelties that have not yet been inflicted. People tell my revolution to slow down, don't go too fast or you'll burn out. They say the blindfold stands for time, that justice cannot see the passing of the years, that she only swings her sword after a century of strife. Not my revolution. She is older than time and young as the eyes of my little brother. My revolution isn't one candle, it's thousands. It's endless nights and lost sleep and too many tears to count, Atlas standing in an ocean of his own grief. But isn't it an honor to be stronger than the sky? To plant your feet in the ground and refuse to be moved. To say, I have made the earth softer. Close your eyes. Do you feel the scales resting on your shoulders? My revolution, called justice, called mercy, is calling to us again. My justice, called revolution, is coming. Thank you.